purpose of this video is to familiarize you with the laboratory centrifuge and its operation and, and how to operate it safely. Um, and I'm also going to be showing you various types of centrifuges. Um, um, the laboratory centrifuge operating it is a basic laboratory skill. Um, there are hundreds of different types of centrifuges for hundreds of different purposes and they all kind of have various design features and characteristics um, and we'll look at some of those um, and you know I would speculate that most biotechnology laboratories have some capability for uh, some type of centrifugation. Despite the fact that there are hundreds of different types of centrifuges, they have a common uh, element in their function in that they are basically a motor which drives a spindle on which is attached a rotor and um, then the rotor would have our samples on it and these would spin and as they spin the increasing amount of force as the rotor spins um, puts force on the tube. Uh, you can see this is a swinging bucket rotor and as the uh, rotor begins to spin the buckets actually swing out into the horizontal position from their resting position of vertical so that the force being applied actually would be um, centrifuging and pelleting the, the material into the bottom of the tube. Um, and so, and, and that's the, the purpose of the centrifuge, to apply this force to sediment the material. Um, um, to now, remember that we're talking about centrifuging suspensions as opposed to solutions. We've talked about solutions where the material, you have a solute dissolved in the solvent. In the terms of a suspension, the particles are suspended in the solution, but they're not, or suspended in the liquid, but they're not dissolved in it. So um, that as the gravity, the force of gravity applied by the centrifuge on these particles will cause them to proceed toward the, in this case, the bottom of the tube. 